This is a huge update for all of us who are using CapCut. As you know, Google just released Nano Banana Pro, but the best part is that we now have Nano Banana Pro built directly into CapCut. Nano Banana is complete game changer for AI image generation. We have reached the point where the difference between real and AI generated almost completely disappeared. The original Nano Banana was already a powerful tool. You could generate some amazing images with it, but there was a few problems face consistency, text misspelling, overall image quality. With the latest Pro version, all of that has taken to the next level. So let me show you how Nano Banana Pro works inside CapCut. If you open CapCut now, you will see Nano Banana Pro in the top right corner. Click on it and will take you straight to the AI section. Under model, you'll see that you now have Nano Banana Pro available. Let's create our first image. As a reference, I'm going to import a photo of myself. You can also add multiple images as a reference if you need them. Then I will pass in the prompt that I generated using ChatGPT, which you see it here if you want to try it yourself. Like I said, under model, you can choose other models as well, but we are going to stick with Nano Banana Pro for this tutorial. For the aspect ratio, I'll leave it on the original because I already have the aspect ratio specified in the prompt. Now just hit generate and wait a few seconds for process to finish. And here we are. That is an amazing sketch. Let's zoom in a bit. This is crazy. Look at the eyes. If you want to regenerate the image, you can do that here. You can also download it or even turn the image into a video. And if you just want a still image, you can export it by going to export still frames. Let's create a second image and this time I'm going to use 5 reference images. First I'll change the prompt. I already have one picture of myself and then I'll add 4 more images as a reference. This time I'll set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Here are the reference images and the prompt on the screen in case you want to copy it. I will also leave you a link with the pictures in the description if you want to practice. And then hit generate. Wow, just wow. Look at this guys. That is totally my face. You can see the handwritten R on the hoodie. My hands, my watch. And look at the dog, awesome. One more thing I want to show you is the image quality. You can now export images up to 8K resolution. How about that? But this is just a small portion of what Nano Banana Pro can really do. Before we continue, if you are enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's a small gesture for you, but it's a huge help for me and really helps channel to grow. Now let's try a last example and in this one I want to include some text. So let's test how Nano Banana Pro handles it. First I'll delete everything and paste in my new prompt which says Now I'll click generate and wait a few seconds. Look at that. We've got three options here and honestly I don't even know which one is the best. I think I'll go with this one because I really like how the text Alien Exist is carved into the rock. It looks so clean and realistic. That's how Nano Banana Pro works inside CapCut. Better face consistency, higher image quality and way more reliable text generation all without leaving your editing software. Nano Banana Pro inside CapCut is a serious level up for anyone creating thumbnails, concept art, YouTube visuals or short form content. Take care and don't miss my next video.